and they kept referring to Sebastian as a crab. Am I the only one that was under the impression all these years that he was a lobster? Oh my gosh, no, because he looks like a crab. He actually looks like a crab. It's the colour. Lobster's red. Do you know what? Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another palette from the iHeart Revolution X Disney collection. So they just launched the Little Mermaid palette. So I am going to be reviewing and swatching this for you guys today. I'm also going to show you guys how I use this palette to create this aerial themed look. That I'm wearing right now so if this is your kind of thing then go ahead and keep on watching also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so this is the fourth Disney princess palette that I Heart Revolution have done they've also done the princess and the frog beauty and the beast and Cinderella I did review two of three of those palettes if you guys want to check out those videos I will leave a link to the videos in the description box down below but today we are focusing on the little mermaid as you guys can see I've done my nails to match don't know why I always see this, but I just think it's cute. So this is the packaging. So the palettes retail for £15 each. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the inside. So what you get in the palettes is three blush shades, three highlighter shades, and then we've got 18 shadows and we've got a mixture of shimmers and mattes. So this is the colour story for The Little Mermaid. I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I first saw this, it was actually giving me The Princess and the Frog with just a little bit more blue in it and I think that's pretty much what it is I'll go ahead and show you guys the side by side of the palettes so I will have the princess and the frog palette right here but I do get a similar color theme with those palettes but this side is obviously completely different from the princess and the frog one but yeah there were some other products launched in this collection so there was a highlighter and a lip gloss I didn't pick up either because the lip gloss was giving me lip chopper and this palette includes highlighters in it anyway plus I'm not really a fan of that particular formula of highlighter and I knew I wasn't gonna like it so I didn't pick it up but we are gonna try out the ones in this palette so we are gonna start with the blushes and the highlighter so we're gonna do some swatches and then I'll pick two shades to apply to my face so here are the three blushes. I kind of get the feeling that Revolution went for a coral theme here because of the sea or something like that. I'm not sure, but that's what it's giving me because it's sort of like a light coral, a medium coral, and then a bit of a deeper coral at the bottom here. So we are gonna go ahead and swatch starting top down. And the first shade we've got is Part of Your World, which I already know I'm never gonna use. So there is part of your world. It looks more white against my skin, but we move. The next shade is Make a Splash, which is the orangey type coral. Yeah, I'm not a fan of either of these two. I'm literally never going to wear these two shades ever. I think by default, the colour that I'm going to use is the last one, which is called Total Cash. And that is what that shade looks like. So we've got Part of Your World, Make a Splash, and Total Catch. Those are the three blush shades. I'm not going to lie, they're disappointing, but there's nothing I can do. So I'm going in with the last shade, which is Total Catch, and I've got some of it on my brush. I'm using the Beauty Bay 103. <sighs> I'm scared to use it because I don't want to ruin the makeup look. It is what it is, I'm gonna have to. Okay. Actually, she's not that bad. Oh. Okay. Yeah, she's subtle and she's cute. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, this one I think I really like because it's very subtle and it adds a warmth without doing too much and without making my skin look ashy. The other two, I, I don't even want to try them because so far we haven't ruined the look and I'd like to maintain that. Okay, one of two usable shades isn't the best, I'm not going to lie, 
but I have used the eyeshadows and I probably will use some of these again. I'm not the biggest fan of the formulas in these palettes, but one thing that I will tell you is that these photographs so nicely and so seamlessly that it was enough for me to justify buying this. Like that's how beautifully they photograph. I'll show you guys pictures of the looks that I did with the other two palettes. Literally seamless. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and add some highlighter to this face. And I'll just show you guys the highlighter side again. So these are the shades. I think it's pretty obvious which shade I'm gonna go for, but we are gonna swatch them all first. So the first shade we have is that top peachy white called The Heart of the Sea. It's literally so hard for me to see the shimmer in this. It just looks like chalk, no cap. Kinda looks like that blush shade from the other side. But you know, it is what it is. Next we've got a sort of goldy colour called Under the Sea. Which looks like that. And lastly we've got a pink colour and it is Rule the Wave. So that's what all three of the highlighters look like. I'm going to have to go with the middle shade right here. Which is Under the Sea. I'm going to try and apply this. I feel like I should spray my face first but I'm doing it now and I'm getting it in my hair but that's okay it's not my favorite formula but the shade seems to be working quite well oh it's actually pretty cute oh actually so those are the blushes and the highlighters. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the eyeshadows now and I'm starting from the top corner over here, which is a yellow shade and it's obviously gonna be called Flounder. That's like a given. So there is Flounder. Then we've got Waves, Scuttle, Ariel, Sebastian, Seaweed, Adela, C, Eric, Aquata, Mermaid, Triton, Dinglehopper, Alana, Flotsam, Ocean, Atina, and lastly, we have Ursula. So this is the whole palette swatch. As you guys know from my other videos, I do really like the pops of color, like these particular shades over here. So we've got Sebastian, Seaweed, Adela, and Sea. I really like the look of those colors. Titan is also a really nice gold. And this blue is to die for. This is the shade Ocean. And I absolutely love how that shade looks. I will point out that there are two shades in here that have a weird sort of texture. I'm not sure if it's just my palette, but this shade right here, C, is very rough. And this shade right here called Aquata is the crumbliest shade I think I've ever seen in a palette. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when I went to swatch it, it literally just fell apart. Like that was just a light little tap like that. And the palette is literally... Crumbling. I'm gonna stop doing that before I get it on my carpet but yeah I think for the most part the colors match the film but the thing with these palettes I found that they look very random when you're looking at it because the colors are matched to specific parts of the film or characters instead of the film as a whole so obviously like how you've got the little mermaid as a book or the princess and the frog was the green and the gold the inside is like you know I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I did this look now so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial so I'm gonna show you guys how I created this eye and obviously the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelid and the primer I'm using today is the P. Louise Rumor 2.5 I'm not gonna lie when I did this eye I used the Beauty Bay eye base but I genuinely don't know where I put it so priming my lid with this Now that the lid is ready to go, we're going to dip into the palette and we're going in with this purple shade here, Ursula. 
I've just got it on my Beauty Bay 207 brush. And I'm going to use this shade to map out the shape that I want. So first I'm patting in the shade. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm taking this shade area right here which is like a lilac and I'm blending it with that shade Ursula again and this I'm going to use to fan out that purple shade that we've got so it's not such a harsh line and I'm literally just going to dust this over like that and take it up towards my brow bone. So I've blended out that purple but now I want a deeper shade in the actual like crease area so I'm again going in with that shade Ursula and I'm mixing it with this deep blue shimmer called C right here and this I'm just going to pack into my crease area and this is just going to deepen up the colour right here in here like this so I'm going to sweep it back and forth and it is going to come out blue because of how pigmented that blue is but I'm literally just going to take a combination of that blue and purple until I'm happy with the shade that I've got. So I've just added a bit more Ursula to the brush. Okay, that would do. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and I'll come right back. So I've managed to cut the crease and I'm going in with this shade it's Seaweed. And I'm going to pack this all over the lid. I was debating between going in with a green or a red, but ultimately I decided to base it on her outfit and then just include the red. On the under. Okay, so the next shade we're going to take is this shimmery lime green called Adela. I would have done this as the all over shade, however I didn't want the lime green, I wanted this nice deep seaweed that we've got on the eye. So I'm patting some of this on the top and this is going to add shimmer without overtaking the colour. Because I did still want a little bit of that pop on the eye. Going in with the lower lash line next, and you honestly can't do a little mermaid look without featuring the shade Sebastian, which obviously is a red. So I'm just taking a smaller, more detailed brush. This is the Beauty Bay 210. And I'm literally just going in with that. Just below my lower lash line. For the inner corner, I'm not going in with the gold this time. I thought I'd go in with this shimmery blue right here called Aquata. And I just thought this would really complement the look. So I am going to use that and just do the inner corner. Then I'm going to head off camera, finish off the eye look and I'll come back. This is the finished look after I've added my lashes, liner and mascara. I really like it, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The palette itself is mediocre, I'm not going to tell you guys that it's a fantastic palette or what have you because it's not. The formula isn't my favourite but it is my favourite to photograph if that makes sense. I just really like the way that it sits on the lid, on top of a base of course. Without a base I feel like this, the pigment just wouldn't pigment it wouldn't perform, you know? That's just my personal feelings. And as for these shades on the side here, I think there should be more done to make these shades more inclusive and more usable by different skin tones, just because I would struggle with the majority of this side of the palette. I'd be very happy to just have this and pay less. Packaging is of course A1. I absolutely love, love, love the packaging for these storybooks. And I really wonder who the next princess that they feature is going to be. Leave your guesses in the comment section down below. That's pretty much all I have to say on this palette. Do let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. 
Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one.